Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today's video, we're at Wales' longest town name. So it is Lanfire Peak, Gwengoene, La Gwengoene. I can't even say it, Gogokok, but as you can see, it's quite long. There's a gift shop here. I want to see what else is in this town because I don't think there's much. It is starting to rain again. We'll go have a look at the gift shop and then we'll go and see what the locals call Land via PG has to offer. That's the train station. Um, I'm pretty sure the building is derelict now. The car park seems rammed to be honest. The last time I was here, it was probably about four or five years ago. It was so early in the morning that there was no one here, but the car park is absolutely rammed. But I did try and learn it. I'm sorry. I just couldn't get it. So the town is so quiet that they have this is a request stop station. Passengers wishing to join the train schedule to call at this station please signal clearly to approaching drivers. That is crazy. So I don't think there's a lot to do around here but we'll have a look. This is obviously the train station with the longest name and the town with the longest name. Now on the gift shop it does say what it means in English and obviously I wish I'd learned Eng uh, Welsh. I'm trying but I still can get the pronunciation right and as you can see they've literally blacked out the old train station. Surely a don't got Birmingham but me Lee and Jordan had a selfie there but it's literally dead this train station is. The car park is more for the town I think than anything else which yeah, it's crazy really, isn't it? This platform is for Landud North Junction and Chester, so it only goes to two places. Anyway, let's go have a look in the gift shop. So basically in English, it is the Church of Mary in the hollow of the White Hazel near the Fierce Whirlpool and the Church of Tysbull by the Red Calf. Bit of a tongue twister, but uh, yeah, I, I still can't say it in Welsh. So let's go see what Landfire PG has got to offer. So it has one pub, Penrose Arms. To me, this is just obviously like a little escape village. And I suppose the names, the name of it just brings so many people in. That's quite cool. You know, it's a novelty. That shop was massive, and I didn't really video much because it's like it was a lot of clothes there was a butchers it was just generic Welsh stuff they have a chemist nice house but it is literally just like one of those drive through villages like I said you see a lot of them in North Wales particularly driving from south to north because there isn't a real motorway it's just all A and B roads and basically, if you get stuck behind a truck or a farmer, you're stuck behind them for miles, unless you get a lucky break. We have a wedding dress shop. And then we have a hairdressers. Wow. It is all quite uh, bizarre around here, really. But like I said, it's just one of those little novelty things. The train station probably brings so much uh, tourism to this place. We have we have Rubens, which is another hairdresser by the looks of it. Uh, Studio One, and then Bluebell's Floral Design, and I think that is pro. Oh, Salon. Gal what? As well, so we have another 
I didn't see that first time round, that's cool. So they have another pub. So within a mile of each other, I think they have like one or two pubs, but it's good if obviously the tourist comes in, hopefully they get a lot of money from it. This is a cool little shop. So it sells like die cast and it looks like antiques. And then this side, you've got like Mona's models and it's like all the old die casts. I used to collect these as a kid, the Lord of the Rings ones. Ah, oh, this is wicked. Fair play. You've got Tom Bombadil, you've got some of the Hobbit there. It's been a while since i done it. I was a kid back then, but all the Warhammer and models and stuff is cool. It's nice to see it still about, especially in a really, really small novelty village like this. It's cool to see. So before I wrap up this video, I just did um, some research on Landfire PG. In 2021, the population dropped to around 2,900 people. Now, I was expecting a lot lower of a number of that, you know, because it is a very small village on, you know, the border of Anglesey. It's connected by the Britannia Bridge, I want to say. Um, I feel we accidentally come here about four or five years ago, I think it was. I wanted to come back, explore and just see what was here. Make a little video for you guys. It's a little bit of fun in it. Land via when Guinea land Rob will and lay la go go go. I can't say it. Points to you. Let me know below if you can say it. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more hidden gems like this, even though it's probably world famous. Adventure videos, camping in the van, all our sorts of good stuff. If everybody could smash the like button, leave a comment down below. I am in North Wales. I am signing out and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.